Yo, what is going on guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video we are going to be talking about five places I really want to visit in 2021 slash 2022, probably 2030 at this rate. Yeah, five places I want to visit for just to explore and for photography reasons. So without further ado guys, let's get into this video. So guys, in no particular order of where I want to go, Number five is Guernsey, the Channel Islands, maybe even Jersey. I'll put some pictures up now and try and link the photographers, but I've only recently wanted to go to Jersey. Uh, I've been looking at a YouTuber, I'll try to put the link down below a couple actually, and it just looks amazing for sunsets, um, photography. It, you know, it's only a small island as well. I think it's around 12 miles, I think. Um, it, it just looks like a really nice place to live, a nice place to photograph. I've seen so many nice pictures on Instagram. I think it's uh, St. Peter's Port is their capital. Um, and that just looks incredible. And this will be one that I'm actually going to try to go to this year if restrictions lift and like I said it'll be all photos on the screen now and I just think you know four or five days 12 miles you could get a lot of photography done there's lots of beaches I've heard the sunsets and sunrises they're amazing I've heard the food there is amazing and like the culture of it all so yeah Guernsey is definitely a place I'll be visiting in the future and I really can't wait. Number four, guys, is Scotland. And there's just too many places to name that I want to visit in Scotland. I have been to Scotland once before, but we only went for about three days, so we didn't get to cover much. And I wouldn't really... I was into photography, but I wasn't as good as I would say I am now, so I'd love to revisit Edinburgh. I'd love to go up to the Isle of Skye, I think it is, and see the Old Man of Stowe. Uh, then is Fort Williams, is, which is famous for the boat and the landscape behind it, which is Glen Code, I think. Um, there's the Harry Potter viaduct. Um, there's the NC500 as well. And Scotland's is just amazing for landscape photography and... Even, like I said, Edinburgh, where it's so old, Harry Potter is actually inspired by it. I also think that that would be incredible to re-photograph. And Scotland will be, hopefully, a place I can visit. Because I could drive to Scotland, I think I would this time. And probably stay in my tent. But yeah, so number four is Scotland. Number three is simply the fact, the nerd in me. But I'm a massive Lord of the Rings fan, so New Zealand has to be on the bucket list for me to visit for so many things. I'd love to go to Auckland, uh, the Weta Workshop, I think it's called, where they made all the props and stuff for Lord of the Rings. And I, I have a book somewhere with all the locations, and I really, really, really just love uh, to visit the locations. Uh, Mount Doom, I can't think of the park name, uh, the national park that's there. There's, there's also, um, like I said, so there's Mount Doom, there's the Shire, so Hobbenton as well, which is actually a tourist attraction, is an actual place. And there's just so much scenery to be seen in New Zealand, and I think they're opposite to us, so I do believe it's their summer now. Quote me if I'm wrong, but I think that's right. But, you know, they have the really nice water as well. It's the same as Guernsey. Like, you know, we've got to go to West Wales to have water that clear. Um, the mountains and the rock formations. And like I keep on saying, the scenery for me as a photographer, New Zealand would be the holy grail because I'm a Lord of the Rings fan. So I'd be shooting some of the scenes from Lord of the Rings and I'd also be getting landscape shots in with it. So it's a win-win for me guys. So yeah, that is number three. Number two is a very different one, but 
uh, I spoke about this load, so you guys already know what's coming, but it would be California because um, I don't shoot much cityscape, but I think it would be amazing just because all of the weird, weird roads, here's the picture I'm on about now, you've got the Golden Gate Bridge, which I'd love to photograph, um, Alcatraz being a big uh, Ghost Adventures fan and being a paranormal investigator myself and actually loving the film escape to Alcatraz but I think it would just be good for long exposures with all the cars and stuff and then you know there's so many lights and different things to shoot and I think cityscapes and America is just brilliant for that type of thing also I think shopping would be good the food would be good because I love American food and that would be another reason why I'd want to visit California maybe Sunday can't really see it in the next year or so just because what's going on in the world but yeah california is number two guys and number one guys is switzerland switzerland for a whole lot of different reasons i've heard they have nice chocolate um i've done a lot of research and switzerland is out of this world it's just a different kind of uh beautiful I mean, it's sort of like Italy, I believe, where you can go to some places and there's no snow, and then others, and there is snow. Um, obviously, as you can see by the pictures I've got off Google, um, it looks absolutely incredible. There is a certain town I want to go to, and I'm probably going to butcher it, but I believe is Lennon Burr. Um, I will put it across the screen because I have probably butchered it. But all of these places to me guys because i'm a photographer i just see stuff differently but uh since i stopped doing abandoned buildings i just love doing scenery long exposures of you know lakes and the sea and i just really really love landscapes um my passion of traveling didn't start early enough unfortunately so i'm trying to make up for it now I'm not getting any older, I'm 28 this year, so time's against me where I have to settle down. So I really, really want to try to travel as much as I can. Places like Guernsey and Jersey, they are going to be the better options for me because they're slightly cheaper. But hopefully, guys, one day I can get to all of these places. I know this was a different type of video for you guys. It certainly was for me. So I'm going to see how it panned out. I think I was a little quick on the video, but I didn't really um, want to talk about the history too much of the places. I just wanted to talk about obviously why I want to go there, which is, you know, the beaches, the scenery, the photo opportunities, even the food and culture I like experiencing. Like Georgia in 2019, never even thought about going there. Absolutely incredible place. The food was nice. Um, but yeah, I'm rambling on though, guys, so if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more photography-related content, travel vlogs, a random video here and there, a random live as well. If you are a subscriber, please can you smash that like button and leave a comment down below if you've been to any of these places, or leave me a top five places that you would love to visit, guys. And like I said, smash the like button, leave a comment down below. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video guys. Peace.